need to put your foot on the clutch and then press it. And it took me quite a while to realize that. But, um, but eventually I got there. So we're just gonna go for a quick spin. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try and move this thing over and join this traffic jam. And traffic jams don't really agree with sports car. The sports car wants to drive fast, but no, we're stuck behind a Chevrolet. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, the driving experience is something else because if I just accelerate uh, and just the gear changing, it's very comfortable, it's very smooth. And I feel like I'm in some sort of, I don't know, Formula One car because it's a sports car. I want to listen to sort of dance music and I want to listen to um, stuff like the Swedish the House Mafia. Oh, bit of a bad gear change there. That's my fault. The steering wheel. It's, it's just like a big toy. It's like a computer game, but it's real. I actually feel like I've won the lotto driving this Toyota 86, but, but I, I haven't won the lotto. Encourages you to uh, want uh, to listen to pop, dance, trance music, not sophisticated talk, news talk. This is a man's car. It's not a gentleman's car. And you could say it's not a hairdresser's car. I am in the wrong lane. I'm just gonna change lane. Oh, bit of hooting going on here. And I think I'll add to the hooting. It's got a sixth gear and reverses up the top. That's difficult to get used to. Girls come over to the car and they're impressed. And, and, and I suppose you can understand now why middle-aged men buy a sports car. It's an attempt to try and get chicks. When I get it out on the big, big motorways, there's a huge temptation to go over 120 kilometers per hour. 